Hello everybody, Joe Donahue here. We're headed into the wonderful metropolitan of Lebanon, Pennsylvania today on our journey through some of the old racetracks that used to exist in central PA. We are headed towards Sunset, which is north of the town of Lebanon itself. And we're gonna go look at Sunset Speedway, which used to be at an old farmer's market. I have my dad here with me. He grew up near the track. So we're gonna go look at a parking lot and a loading dock and talk about the uh, old racetrack there, they used to race midgets, uh, but Lebanon, so we're headed in. We'll see what we find when we get there. Taking 7th Street north of Lebanon back in the 50s and 60s would lead you past a farmer's market called Sunset Market. About two miles north of Cumberland Street, which is one of the main streets in Lebanon, the location hosted its market on Fridays and Saturdays. Given the purpose of this video, it should come to no surprise that this market also had a racetrack in the back of the property. Sunset Speedway is listed in one of the records I found to be a quarter mile dirt track, and the pictures that I originally found left me skeptical if this is true or not, but that's just my own personal thing. The track was promoted by two ex-drivers named Charlie Breslin and George Marshman, who himself had also operated other tracks in the Lebanon-Lancaster area. It hosted races for TQ Midgets, the TQ standing for three quarters. The first race was held on September 21st, 1951. That date was a Friday, but the regular program would normally see races on Sundays during the summer. Races would then switch to Saturday afternoons in the fall. Not sure if this happened in 1952 or just at the end of 1953. The track had lighting fixtures to race in the nighttime, which it often did so. It was said to seat about 2,000 fans in the couple small bleachers that were set up on both straightaways. The track hosted races between the three years of 1951 and 1953, sticking to TQ midgets and often bolstering the us versus them mentality that this part of Pennsylvania is known for regarding Lebanon's drivers and the invaders from around the region. 1953 was the final year of the track's short life Racing stopped at the market, and the track was left as it is for Mother Nature's taking. The market continued on and is even still held to this day. The main building saw the addition of Harry Miller's Bargain Town, which was a convenience store, back in 1967. The market itself saw a second life of racing in some way, as a slot car track called Fast Lane Raceway went into the market at some point in the 60s or 70s. In 1986, the market was burned to the ground in a fire that started in the warehouse section and quickly consumed the rest of the building. The rebuild brings us to the building that currently sits on the property, which is the Sunset Grocery Outlet. The racetrack was just to the left of this building when you look at it from the street, but no remnants are left to hint at this anymore. The facility of the racetrack itself was left sitting still and overgrown by Mother Nature for about 20 years after, 20 to 30 years after, and then sometime in the mid to late 80s or into the early 90s or so, it was taken over for good. All right, here we stand at the uh, loading dock of Sunset Market. So there was, there's my dad, my dad running around over here. What are you doing? The back stretch was about right where we're standing here. And turns three and four was there where, sort of where the curb is down there. And then the, uh, the back stretch, did I say front stretch or back? This was the front stretch. That was that would be like, I guess the back stretch because this side had the the um, start finish line on it, and then there was bleachers that would be roughly around here. Um, there were uh, there was a, a a couple small ones. There were like five or six small ones, and then the the technically back stretch was there, underneath where the building is, and then further up and over was where the actual sunset market was at that time but looking at it now i actually I, I when i saw it on the map on the pictures i didn't think it would be a quarter mile but seeing how basically this would be the front stretch right here and then that would be the back stretch you could definitely fit a football field in there so they raced three quarter midgets right here in lebanon and my dad grew up within eyesight of this place Uh, the, it existed as a dilapidated left from other nature place until like close to 1970-ish and further. And uh, then they paved over it and made it into Sunset Market. So if you're ever on 7th Street in Lebanon and you pass Sunset Market and you 
you look at this big area where they store tractor trailers, there used to be a racetrack and they used to race three quarter midgets here. So that's the, that's it. Do you have any other words of wisdom, Dad? No, no. I, I'm happy to find out this part of history that I didn't know about before after all these years. Yes. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the series and we will continue to try to bring out some memories of old racetracks that are lost into the black hole of time. So I'm Joe Donahue. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.